1958, some DJs wouldn't announce the title of Link Ray's song, Rumble, for fear that it would incite kids to do just that. Incidentally, Rumble is an instrumental. The song Cop Killer, on the other hand, has lyrics. And as you're about to see, its words triggered a firestorm of controversy. <laughs> I can't think of another single song that, that was as much of a, a lightning rod as Cop Killer. It was just a song. In the spring of 1991, musician Ice-T and bandmate Ernie C. wrote the song Cop Killer for their speed metal outfit, Body Count. Body Count. Body Count. I went into the rehearsal hall one day and I was singing Psycho Killer by Talking Heads. The drummer was like, man, they need a cop killer. I'm like, what you talking about? He's like, man, these cops is out of pocket. They was just getting away with murder out there, literally. And I just said, what if somebody just got fed up with it and just went on a rampage, you know? Would this guy be an enemy or a hero? I guess the first I heard Cop Killer was on Lollapalooza in 1991. Spin Magazine editor-in-chief Alan Light was a senior writer for Rolling Stone when Body Count was just getting started. Cop Killer certainly wasn't the centerpiece of their show. I'm about to bust the shots off. I'm about to there was a reaction that it got, it played in their set. It wasn't, you know, the song that closed the show or anything like that. In March 1992, months after Lollapalooza, Body Count released its self-titled debut. The album was on Warner Brothers Records, a subsidiary of Time Warner Inc. Cop Killer was the last track on the album. It was a noisy rock song on an album that sold a couple hundred thousand copies, but was hardly burning up the charts. white L.A. police officers. Fires raged throughout the day. A state of emergency has been declared. But when the L.A. riots hit one month after cop killers release, Ice-T was put in the hot seat. Police brutality was in the public eye, and people like Ice-T were capitalizing on that. Former police officer Ron DeLorde is the current president of the Combined Law Enforcement Associations of Texas, otherwise known as CLEAT. Something kind of just snapped and said, enough. There's 600,000 police officers out here. 99 and 9 tenths percent of them never get in trouble in their lives. We're not going to stand here and let someone put out a song that advocates the murder of police officers. Of course it's clear why a policeman would be offended by a song called Cop Killer. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. I think that's a surprise to Ice-T. I got my 12-gauge sawed off. I've got my headlights turned off. It wasn't just like, I don't like cops and I hate him. I'm about to bust some shots. I'm about to dust some cops off. It wasn't me singing anyway. I'm a cop killer. Better you than me. It's another guy. You know, I was portraying cop killer. Police brutality. This is called art. There was no mistake in what he was asking people to do. The cops were under fire for a lot of brutality. And by using that record, they were able to shift the energy from them to me. It's like ice tea's the problem. The Lord rallied Cleats 12,000 members. Then, he put a plan into action. We're not going to get into an argument with Ice-T. We're not going to make this a racial issue. So once we decided that, who was it that we could target that the media and the public would accept? Time warned. Now, some real-life police officers across Texas are calling for a boycott of the company which released the song. Boycott. Time Warner, the parent company of Warner Brothers Records. We want you to apologize. You made a bad corporate decision. And we want you to cease production of this particular song. In a matter of days, police organizations and politicians across the country joined Cleet's call to arms against Cop Killer. So we were sitting at home, and we just mind our business. And the phone rang, and my boy said, Yo, Ice, the vice president is on TV yelling about you. And making money off a record that says it's okay to kill cops. I find that outrageous. And he was like, Ice T, rap singer, Ice T. I mean, it's like, I clicked it, and he said, Ice T. Ice T. And everybody in the room was like, Oh, man. Damn. The lyrics are outrageous. This is real, dude. It's irresponsible. They are tripping off of this record. Die, 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 pig, die. It took off like a wildfire. Thirteen days after the Cleet News Conference, Time Warner issued this response in the Wall Street Journal. President and CEO Gerald Levin said it was a matter of freedom of expression 
He also believed that cop killer's lyrics were not intended to incite young blacks to shoot police officers. Time Warner wasn't going to give in. I respect the guys at Warner Brothers. Their back was up against the wall. They were like ice. And, I, and I'm like, yo, we put the record out, man. We ain't mad at you, but now we're in a bad situation. I don't want somebody going out listening to these lyrics and deciding they're going to dust the cop. The police here in Texas were the first to call for a boycott of Ice T and Time Warner last week. The effect? Sales of his album have tripled in Houston, doubled in three other cities. We knew we would cause people to listen to this song and buy the song who had never heard of it. We knew it would make Ice T money, and we knew it would make Time Warner money. That's not the way to sell that. But the difference is, it would be blood money to Time Warner. The bad outweighs the good. For Ice T, it went from bad to worse. On July 2nd, former National Security Council aide Oliver North asked America's governors to bring criminal charges against Time Warner. Ali North had the nerve to say Ice-T should be tried for sedition, which is punishable by death. It was an election year. I'm like, you going for mob nuts? What did I do to you, dude? It was uh, a time where you know, Dan Quayle was attacking Murphy Brown's morals. It just started to steamroll. George Bush said the record was sick. It just got more and more out of control. And there's all this protest. Well, they shouldn't play stuff like this on the radio. You know, it shouldn't be on MTV. It wasn't on the radio, and it wasn't on MTV. By the end of June, Ice T found himself in the eye of a national political storm. See, one thing I think a lot of people don't know, for the record, is whenever the president says your name in anger, immediately you go under the most thorough search of your life. It just got out of hand to the point where they sent people to look at my daughter. My daughter was in school. They pull her out of class. They ask her, uh, is your father connected to paramilitary organizations? Because the president's next question to his aide could be, what do you know about it? shareholders meeting, Cleet made what it felt was a shocking discovery. Time Warner had made a decision to promote body count in body bags. When the album was coming out, the label sent out these little promotional, you know, black plastic body count body bags. It wasn't just about speech anymore. This really was about the killing of police. And that was pouring gasoline on a fire. We are shareholders and uh, we have a uh, a very powerful grievance against Time Warner for what they are doing with uh, this album Body Count by Ice-T. After four weeks of intense protest, the cop killer controversy came to a head. On July 16th, 1,100 Time Warner shareholders gathered in Beverly Hills for their annual meeting. We're first going to introduce uh, Charlton Heston, who will uh, lead off with some remarks of his opinions on this matter. Charlton. And Charlton Heston, got up and it was like the voice of God. Let's take a look at what is really going on here. Charlton Heston had no idea what the record cop killer was about. Here's the some of the lyrics on killer cop, cop killer. He says, and here's the lyrics to killer cop, killer cop, cop killer, which was a Freudian slip. What made him say killer cop? I got my brain on hype, tonight will be your night. Die, 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 big die. The problem with Charlton Heston is people in America can think he's Moses or something. The police, I know your family's grieving. Come, catch you a little number, isn't it? And they had a policeman stand up who was blind and been shot in the face by a shotgun by a young man. You don't understand what it's like. When my two and a half year old son comes to me at night and says, Daddy, read a book. And the whole tenor of the meeting changed. And I can't. Because someone hated police so bad, they took away my sight. I knew when we left that meeting that they were toast, that they could not stay in this fight. After the meeting, Cleet was packing up its protest when for the first time, members came face to face with Ice T. So I'm driving down the street. On a roll of roars. I see these guys. And then he shot us a finger. Then they start fumbling for their cameras. And one of our officers was standing out there and took the picture, which we've used in some of our posters. Whether I like it or not, right? We held no grudge against Ice T. You guys aren't my friends. He's an artist. You're trying to end my career. He's trying to make a buck. Then that's okay. You're trying to make it so my kid can't eat. Twelve days later, Ice-T called in reporters for a news conference. At the moment, the cops are in a criminal, um, a criminal mode. They've uh, waged a lot of death threats 
against Warner Brothers Records. And that's a lie. And they threatened to bomb the record company. I'm not aware of any bomb threat. I'm in a position now where I think Warner Brothers is taking the war for me. So, as of today, I'm going to pull the song off the record. We were more than satisfied. Just to prove to them that it ain't about money. There was a sense of... Here was somebody who had prided himself on being the most outspoken, the most real, coming at the hardest issues. And when it came down to it, he decided to let this one go. I was like, let's pull it off. Let's give it away. If we go to the concerts, we'll give it away. We'll eliminate us as a target, and then we'll have to go back to real issues in the United States about something outside of a record. In October of 92, Body Count's album was re-released. Cop Killer was replaced with freedom of speech. Warner Brothers Records has never re really recovered from the reputation that they got, the image that they got after the Cop Killer situation. I understand why people got mad. He had every right to protest police brutality. But I learned a whole lot. It's one thing to tell a story. It's another thing to promote the murder of anyone. I got one good thing out of it. How many people will have the President of the United States yell their name in anger. It's a great feeling just to know I touched the White House. Cop Killer has never been implicated in a murder of a police officer. But a teen in Texas claimed the Tupac Shakur song, Sister Soldier, encouraged him to shoot and kill an officer. The jury didn't buy his defense and convicted him of capital murder. Next on Rock Story, the people in Boston, they were ready to rumble. The Soul Patrol pulls off what police and politicians couldn't.